Evolution, quoted by Dictionary.com, is the process by which different kinds of living organisms are believed to have developed from earlier forms during the history of the Earth. Hello, I'm Thomas Oakes, and today we'll be talking about evolution over the years has affected many animals, plants, and organisms. It has even affected you. Think of evolution this way. Evolution happens because it can't not happen. Evolutionary change is a property of life. You may have seen this picture or something similar before. This is the human evolution. In the image, you can see that the whole human race started as simple monkeys, although as the earth changed, the monkeys did too. They became taller and capable of walking on two legs. This is called bipedalism. This gave them an advantage to see predators in the distance or see over tall grass. Although this process didn't happen overnight, this must have taken millions of years. One of the earliest defining human traits, bipedalism, the ability to walk on two legs, evolved over four million years ago. Where does evolution happen? Well, evolution occurs in many different things, like plants, animals. These changes can be seen if you compare an animal or a plant to what it looked like one million years ago and what it looks like today. Evolution happens when a species or plant needs to adapt to a new environment, new predators, climate change, etc. In times like this, survival of the fittest comes into play as well as evolution. When thinking about adaption, it helps to turn it around. It isn't that a species adapts, it's the environment selects. Survival of the fittest and evolution work together when a species needs to survive in new conditions. Survival of the fittest is simply the most adapt to where the species has moved to. For example, Charles Darwin in 1837 discovered that a group of finches that were blown to the Galapagos Islands in a big storm became very adept to this new environment. What was one species of finch became over 14 different species. This is because of the survival of the fittest and evolution. The finches with long beaks were better at finding worms. Other finches with smaller beaks were better at eating seeds. The finches that were in the middle mostly died out. That is survival of the fittest. The finches left after that mated with each other, making all the finches either long-beaked with different variations of feather color or size, or short-beaked with the same variations. And then there were the one or two species in between that had multi-purpose beaks. Their beaks had adapted to the type of food they ate in order to fill different niches on the Galapagos Islands. That is evolution, making the finches suitable for their environment. Let's go back over some of the points that have been provided today. Firstly, what evolution is and where, where, what it affects. Evolution is what a species changes or adapts to survive a climate or of some kind. It affects everywhere, all the time, and it affects anything that has been through a climate change. After these points, do you think an evolution helps a species or, dis or destroys it? Thank you for watching my video. See you next time.